and welcome to episode two of the Unniche Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything, because we don't have a niche. <laughs> I'm Madison. I'm Casey. There's a siren in the background. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. Today is a very special episode. Um, it's maybe my birthday. It's her birthday. I'm a year older, unfortunately. Um, and I'm 21. 21. She's 21. 21. Can you do some for me? Um, but since it's your birthday, I have a little surprises for you. Surprise! Oh, okay. I'm so nervous. I'm so okay. nervous. Okay, okay, I, I'm bending over to get it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like, re- like physical surprise. Wh- what did you think I meant by surprises? I don't know. Maybe you're gonna tell me something cool, like, you know, or like a fun fact or something. Here's one to eat. Can't okay, open it. To eat. Wait, ASMR. Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't that sound? <laughs> Didn't that sound amazing? Oh my gosh! It is craft macaroni and cheese unicorn shapes uh, for the one and only. I thought you might be hungry. <laughs> I am. On your birthday! <laughs> um, um. Unicorn. So, a core part of our friendship is spicy books. That's so, I true. got you something to read. Oh my gosh. It's oh my not gosh. Gonna, what you think it is. Just don't get too hyped. You wrote it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Ooh, ooh, Jen, Jen, Jenny Marts, Jenny Farts. What do you show me? What it says? When a cowboy loves a woman, <gasps> a Credence Horse Rescue novel. I don't know what that means. I got it at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Did you? So really? Don't get too hyped over the quality. <laughs> but well, I I'm, hope it's spicy. I am gonna go masturbate to this book right now. Oh, wait. Let me read well, the description. Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. Oh. Open your heart to love's possibilities. Pulled me in from the very first page. When a kitchen fire forces young widow L. Brooks to move in with her friend Bryn on the Heaven Can Wait Horse Ranch Rescue, she never expects to end up in... Oh, good lord. Never expects to end up in the muscled arms of a handsome rancher and a veterinarian, Brody Tate. Spending time with the hunky cowboy and his spunky young daughter, Mandy, as they rehabilitate rescued horses, <laughs> reminds Elle of all that she's lost in a car crash years ago. She can't deny the feelings that being close to Brody is stirring her. Did you so, like my dramatic reading? I liked it. I hope it's the spiciest book you've ever read. Okay, wait, let's see if we can find a spicy page. Do you yeah, think? just oh, open up okay. to this random page. 197. She chuckled as she pushed the plate toward the goat. Ooh, Take it. It's goat. yours. <laughs> she had sex with the goat? <laughs> uh, she wasn't that hungry anyway. The Are they the still woman? latching on? Okay, next one. Next <laughs> page. <laughs> 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 the day was sunny and bright. The temperatures mm. had already yeah, risen into the 80s by late morning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Okay, this is there's no sex. <laughs> Where well, is... maybe you're finding the not sex pages. Not like ours. Everything is different when you've lost a spouse. It's not like divorce. Death is oh. different. Um, I want damn girl, you got big titties. Well, if there's no spice, I'll just write in a page. Cowboy put penis in woman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I'm horny already. Here, here's the, here's another surprise. Oh my god! Why did you get me so many? Uh, because I love you. I freaking love you. I freaking love Is you it so undies? much. Oh, this next one is to wear. You you could wear a man's Oh undies. my gosh, that's so cute. They are freaking fruit socks. They got strawberries. It says berry sweet. Cause you're berry sweet. That's I got a burp. <clears throat> that's very sweet, kids and infants. So I didn't read the package. Uh, <laughs> I'll admit, I fuck up. Fits kids shoe sizes seven so to two. If they don't fit, I'll buy you new socks. Wait, seven to two. Seven to oh, I thought kids. that said twelve. Kids seven to two. Are they get smaller. The- uh, they get bigger the smaller the smaller the, like, <laughs> they get bigger the smaller the smaller they get bigger you know, well they look fine look at if they don't fit i'll just buy you new socks or i'll she shrink my little, feet she wears little baby socks I've little, oh so she's a little baby little baby she's a freaking um, little baby 
This one says to drink. Oh my goodness. There's so many fun things. Is it lean? I don't know what lean is, so no. I don't really know yes. what it is either. Yep. Wait, is that is it isn't it the cough syrup in something? Yeah, I got this wrong. I thought when I was a kid, I yeah, back when I was a kid, you know. Back when Wait, I was a child. Wait, is it gonna be a story? Because you can just come and talk yeah. into it. You should probably introduce him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this he's is Grant. The, he's the lover. I'm the comic relief. <laughs> this is her oh, lover. My lover. I thought lean had LSD in it. I thought that's oh. what it was, but that's wrong. It's like cough syrup and Jolly Ranchers or something. Yeah, but for some reason, the com combination of like the mixture or something in it like makes you like trip. Or yeah, whatever. it gives you a little crazy. And there's something else you're supposed to. I don't know. I don't. I don't drink lean for the record. <laughs> we don't, don't really participate in lean. Well, I don't. I have, well, none of us really know what it is anyway. Yeah. So this is so what, fun. Oh my oh, gosh, the, look. The producer's on it. Okay, producer's on producer, it. Producer, yes, please give us the definition of lean, in parentheses, drug, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> lean, also known as purple drink. <laughs> <laughs> purple drink. Scissor. Scissor. Walk or oil, and several other names. It's a recreational drug beverage. Prepared by mixing prescription strength, Baby cold, girl. Uh, cough, and cold syrup. Okay, cold syrup. Codeine and promethazine. Promethazine. With a soft drink. Oh, drink. That sounds... <laughs> drink. Bright um, I think, yeah. Bright Jolly Ranchers and cough syrup. Yeah, I think that so sounds right. Weird. I, so weird. I just remember the um seeing images of whatever that purple monster is from McDonald's. What's his name? Grid... Get... Purple monster uh, from McDonald's. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. He's talking like about. almost shaped like a chicken nugget or something, and his name is. It starts with a G. Purple monster from McDonald's. His name is like Grouchy or like. Wait, what are you talking about? You know, the producer's currently it, looking it up for us. Before we would have been McDonald's. Yes, him, We've, him, wait. him. What's his name? Grimace. Grimace. I have no idea what this is. Well, Austin, pull up a picture. No. They had the, like, the boy burger. There was a burger. That yes. Was <laughs> yes. Boy burger. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, to segue into the next gift, because... Oh, right. Um, <laughs> no more lean. This one is says to use when bathing. When bathing. Okay. I don't know if I spelled bathing right on the package. You know what? I can't read anyway, so... Oh, well, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my this goodness. This stuff looks really fun. I've never used it. Is it what I think it is? Please tell me it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. You can, like, use it can... on the shower wall. Yeah, it's oh. it's finger paint soap. Wait, I'm going to try it, it right now. So, but, but we're not bathing. Oh, I'll bathe you. Okay. Um, I want to Cut look. the camera. <laughs> we're about to go About to go strip. bathe. Was this my light? It smells good. It smells like pink. It smells like mm -hmm. pink. Uh, yep, pink does have a smell. <laughs> That's so cute. Do you want to have a bath together? Right now? Right now. Our bathtub isn't big enough here. Okay, so... right now. Okay, yeah. So you call me fat. No, I'm the fatty. Uh, 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 next toy. Pre present. <laughs> next toy. To fidget. To oh, yay. There's a couple things in this one. <laughs> I'm stimming already. Open, open, open. I didn't know how to wrap it in. Oh, so there's like goodness. three things in there. A little purple centipede. That's the fidget so guy that stretches super far. It has little legs. It go waka 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 waka. That waka, one waka. I saw it and I immediately grabbed it. I was like, she's gonna love that is this so one. Fun. You gotta show show them. Show them the, on, the, on the camera. Yeah, show them. Fidget wow. hall. Fidget up. Whoa, it's a hairy worm. <laughs> oh, it's a hairy worm. <gasps> oh my goodness. That one looked so silly. I need to feel it on my face. The other one she opened oh. is a yellow cat. This is so cute. Wait, look, feel the cat. It's like a yellow squishy cat. cat. There's another one in there. Oh, what? Right there. <gasps> They're pretty much the same thing as the that cat, is but so like tinier. Cute. They're like these little tiny, I think one's like a llama or a lamb, and one's like cat maybe but they're like squishy and tiny oh, I didn't even open it right fun guys oh my goodness aren't they so cute and fun you want to squeeze them oh it's a bear oh isn't this waka, waka, waka. so cute that's so I, adorable i was like because the dollar tree had like a fidget toy kid area and i was like i need to find all of them because the... so, do we have one yeah wait our dollar tree is i don't think even, uh, like a dollar tree right? yeah i went to dollar tree but i've gone to dollar general to get other fidgets yeah Gen dollar 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 general is usually pretty good i like dollar tree because it's actually like uh, everything's actually a dollar it's a yeah now. yeah true um so this so story time <laughs> when story we time. first became biffles you told me <laughs> there was this beverage that you haven't been able to find since south <gasps> dakota 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way. What? Where did you find it? At the Dollar Tree. Are you kidding me? What? I have been obsessed. Oh, oh she stopped me up. Um, <laughs> they are Arizona iced teas peach. Oh. With peach flavor. My I God. I literally Googled them, like, after you told me that story, because I knew your birthday was going to come eventually. Oh, as, as they do. And they, <laughs> birthday you know, as they do. Every year. Um, oh. And they have them at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so we're going to come out here and stock up every single week. And, but as soon as we start oh. buying them at the Dollar Tree, they're going to be gone. Like that cream soda we really love. Oh my gosh, we were obsessed with this cream soda from the Dollar Store. It was so good. And they were in like funky little bottles too, which I really liked. But it was, I'm a big cream soda girl. I like, like cream soda. Big. And that, oh, it was amazing. We would buy like two of them for the weekend and we'd drink them all. You would drink so them all. Cool. That's a lie. We'd buy four. Okay, we'd buy four. And one liter bottles. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it's kind of, that's there's embarrassing. There's one last surprise. <gasps> Another surprise. Uh, but this is so many surprises. For this one, you got to close your eyes super quick. Okay, my eyes are closed. So she's closing her eyes. I'm opening a package. Is it a pocket pussy? Yes. How did you know? I just know it. I just <laughs> know you so well. This package isn't opening. Squish, squish, squish. I'm squishing with my little guys. <laughs> I should have prepped this one. Prepped this one. Prepped this one a little better. I got burp again. Uh. Another one. Uh. Oh, that was a good one. Um... I'm feeling very vulnerable with my eyes closed. Okay, and open I heard your fire. Eyes. Oh my god! It's gosh. your little birthday, Twinkie. It's my birthday, Twinkie. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to Madison. Happy birthday to you. Wow, we're good. Make a wish. Okay, I'm making a wish. <gasps> oh, my mic. No boyfriends. Oh. <laughs> no wow. boyfriends. Guess you guys are baking up. Uh, this is actually our. This is a breakup video. I'm pranking you online. It's on, gonna be titled air, "We Break Up on Air." I was gonna throw up, but I got nervous. It was gonna go into the cups. Um, <laughs> you don't have to eat the Twinkie if you don't Twinkies if you don't want to. I don't think I've ever had a Twinkie. Had this can we can taste test it. You can taste, taste it right testing. now. Okay. I, I haven't had Twinkies a lot because I know they're not my favorite. But I know I used to have them sometimes when I was a kid. But I'm they're a, like a classic. Yeah. So, okay, she's oh, biting yeah. into it. Pretty good. She's pretty good. A scale of one to ten. The cream on the inside is really good. I would oh, rate yeah, that probably like an eight or nine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. The doughy bits on the outside is as squishy as I was thinking. Is it as good as Woody Harrelson said they were in Zombieland? <laughs> God, have you seen that movie, Zombieland? Mm, I've seen parts of it. It's, it's amazing. It's so yeah, it's so funny. Um, but no, it is not that good. Uh, would you like it? <laughs> not really. Can you have this one? Sure. I'll need it. Okay, everybody, take a bite we and pass it around. One. I have so many things in my lap right now. Okay. Did you like your birthday surprises? I love my birthday surprises. Thank you so much. I mean, so you're much. still getting a new, another birthday present next week when what? I have more money, but... You already gave me so much. These were Dollar Tree presents. Well, they were not good enough. I'm already squishing them, and this is plenty good enough. Not good enough in my brain. But the porcupine feel his squishy back. Mm. Porcupine squishy back. That's just... What's happening? Band name, porcupine squishy back. <laughs> So they're munching on the Twinkies. Yeah, this is the uh, wait. Posing for the thumbnail. Oh, nobody posed. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. So this week, we have prepped some silly little questions to chit chat about. <gasps> wait, I think that we could make it fun. Where I'm gonna try and guess what your answer is, and if I get it wrong, we have to take a little drinky. Okay. It doesn't have to be a full shot, but it can just be a sip. A full shot, you just have to be really messed up by the end of this. Okay. I know some of them are kind of like weird and obscure, so we don't have to do those ones, but... Oh, I also have other fidgets, by the way. More fidgets. <laughs> Need to fidget, in, fidget order to, just in, in order case. to do anything. <laughs> All right. First question. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents have caught you doing? Ooh. I'm going to guess yours is probably sex. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Not so, that I remember, okay. but I also didn't have much of that while I lived in their house. Oh, right. I forget that. Yeah. Um, 
This is the one I bought myself. <gasps> that one's so cute. It's a big porcupine it's a big squish. Porcupine. Oh, it's huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What's up? Wait, wait, let me think. Oh, um, I've been walked in on before that by was not to my be... own parents. Oh, I was about... that was going to be my answer for you is that they walked in on you and yeah. I guess this guy. This freaking guy. Okay. I don't think my parents have walked in on me doing anything sus before. I don't really do anything sus at their house anyway. Um, I'm scared. The only scared. thing coming to mind for me is, you know, as you get older, your body starts to grow hair. <gasps> um, I think I've had an exact same experience. Well, I didn't know that hair in certain areas was normal. So my mom walked in on me cutting my hair in the nether region and she was like, no, stop. That's How old are you? Not that old. Oh my god! Whenever you first start growing it. Yeah. I don't know. When is, like... I don't know what the average is. I don't remember how old I was, but I remember I was young enough where I thought it was abnormal. <laughs> and so she walked into me and was uh, like, no, stop. Like, that, you're not supposed to do that. Leave it. Leave it. Like, that is so That's funny. normal. I remember that my... Okay, when my sister and I were little, because there were so many of us in the house, so many siblings, we would, mm -hmm. like, sometimes take, like together showers when we were young enough just yeah. to save water and stuff and i would literally remember the first time my older sister like i saw her and i was like why don't i have that and I, had no <laughs> idea. I had no idea what it was what do you i don't you have pubes i don't have any <laughs> and i felt left mine? out and now i wish they never never was never there it's too much work but honestly other than that i feel like since i was an only child i was able to not hide things but hide things more or my parents didn't really walk in on me yeah like, i also didn't do that like bad stuff that much when i was yeah kid. when i like i didn't have my like rebel phase or anything no like i've done like one or two things where my parents were like okay don't do that don't do that like here's your consequence and i'd be like all right and i wouldn't do it again yeah i've been caught like <laughs> sneaking somebody in <clears throat> hmm. before hmm. <laughs> but it wasn't like inappropriate stuff at all because i was just a baby and i didn't understand that's that. what they all say we were literally watching Princess and the Frog. We actually were watching Princess. Yes, that's what they all say. Princess and the Frog. We watched Avatar. We watched. Well, that's a story for another time. Oh, good lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's a common experience for many people that you've never experienced? Mm, I feel like I I never. Ex this isn't like funny or even tea at all. But I've yeah. never experienced like the like high school parties all the time. No, nope, I never experienced all the time. That. I was so lame. Nobody liked me in high school. Yeah. Oh my god. No. I only ever went to one. It wasn't even a party really, but this person I was seeing, he wasn't my boyfriend. We weren't, but we just went on a couple dates. I went to a party <laughs> at his party. high school and we left like after 20 minutes at his high school he goes to a different school you yeah know. he went he to a different high different school, school. <laughs> but but we didn't, I didn't know anybody there and he wasn't really friends with a lot of people there so we just like yeah. left and went home and watched tv that's so funny i just okay i always want to be that party person like even now if i get invited to stuff i'm always excited the beforehand but then once i'm actually there i'm like this is not this is it's not where not i want to be no I mean, i'd rather like, just be with my closest pals and, yeah like, if i'm just drunk drunken around <laughs> at a like a public place like that, i guess it's not public but but in front of other people it's just like it's just like, mm. like, mm. well, like with my friends i can have a little tee -hee. i have a little fun time oh something i never really experienced in high school i never drank never I, and so i, I think, was like i missed something yeah i think the first the first time i ever like got drunk drunk i was i think i was 16 or turning 17 or whatever but it wasn't like real drunk it was just i was just in my friend's basement drinking the some first time... literally drinking amaretto out of a purple water bottle oh, that doesn't sound good <laughs> i was 16 i had nothing else the first time i ever got <sighs> drunk or ever really drank i was 21 really Mm -hmm. huh. I just in high school my friends I didn't have like a drinking friend group like yeah. none of them were into that none of them at least when I was friends with them did like drugs or anything so I didn't have a need to do it you were the face of dare <laughs> but I wasn't like I was never the kid that was like no I'm scared like if my friends had been into it sure I probably would have done it but none of them were into it and I just didn't care enough to be like all right guys let's go get <laughs> fucked up like I just didn't care yeah I, I just have imagine. fun without bevies. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of, I kind of think I want a little boat. Are we going to have a bevy go I think we're going to do a freaking birthday shot. Birthday shot. We should have some background music for that. Birthday uh, shot. Um, the background music can just be Grant singing. Okay. Okay. We're going to take shots and you're going to sing it. Okay. 
birthday shot. Yes, that's it. <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. So does that mean I don't get a birthday shot? Oh, well, of course you do. So you do, but you also have to sing at the same time while you're taking the okay. shot. Okay, sound I'm good. Gonna, sound I'm good. Gonna... <laughs> Here, you want to just sit in the middle? But, no, I'll, I'll go back. Oh, okay. After. He's like, I don't want to be with you guys. My breasts are sweating. Yeah, it is kind of hot in the stew. I need boob deodorant. Um, okay, I think I'm going to do my mixy mix one. How does this keep it's turning called porn off? Star. It's called porn star. Uh, it's called porn star. I'm going to do kinky pink. Kinky and porn star? I'm gonna do kinky, oh my god. Kinky blue. Kinky blue. Kinky blue. Oh, we're kinky. Oh, cheers, yeah? cheers, 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 oh, cheers, yeah? cheers, 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 Wait, wait, wait. You're you're the boy, you're the girl, and I'm the both. Hey, are you reinforcing gender norms? I'm sorry. Oh, Reinforcements? I can't, I can't have a pink drink. This is a pink boy. drink from Starbucks. <laughs> I no longer want this. All right. I can't open the bevy. The fucking beverage. Okay, I got mine open. You guys suck. Just <laughs> wait, I need my alcoholic chaser. <laughs> I mean... Virgin chaser. Well, well, I'm gonna do this one instead. Cause I got this one open. A virgin? Am I gonna do this whole thing at once? I've never had this. It's good. It's really fine. Oh, if, it's really good. If I can take it, you can take it. You took I'm that? Bad at taking shots. That wasn't the same one from last week. No, but I I've had it before. Oh, okay, then yeah. I've drunk. I've drunk. No, I've drunk you've only ever drank with me. Clink, 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 clink. Tap. clink. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> oh, Grant, you're not singing. Mm. Birthday, uh, birthday shots! Birthday shots! Ew. That is gross. That's really good. Whatever the pink thing is in there is so good. I want to just drink that straight up. It's raspberry vodka. Raspberry? Yeah, it says right on the sticker. I didn't know raspberry oh, vodka done. was really a flavor. I didn't either. Will you hand me my water bottle? Yeah. Okay, the next question. I hope it is. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to attract a crush? Oh boy. I gotta think. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> Austin's trapped. Oh, he trapped. Broke it. Um. Okay. Well, I feel like the craziest thing I've ever done to attract a crush is just pretend I'm into whatever they're into, even though I don't care about it. I like how this is just on the side of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even notice. So I'll put it back. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We almost had a casualty. What was the casualty? My water bottle almost fell over. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to attract oh, right, a crush? Right, right. To attract a crush. Let's see. I, I never... I was like the timid, I have a crush on you person. Like the classic, I'm a little nerdy girl with my glasses reading my book in the back corner. And ooh, you're so hot. You know? Um, It depended for me, but yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> if I was friends with the person I had a crush on them, I was annoying and like, oh my god, you're so funny. You're so um, funny. But if they were just like someone in my grade and I didn't really know them, I was definitely like, oh, I'm just shy. <laughs> I truly think you're the only person I've ever had a crush on that was like a friend. Besides the one before. Oh, Rocky go crying mm -hmm. outside the stew. Doggy be like sad. Doggy be like, too bad he's so big. Why am I excluded? <laughs> excluded? Um, but other than just pretend I'm into something they're into, I really haven't done that much to attract. I, cause I was in high I'm school. Stuck. When I was like in high school, I was very, very shy I'm if stuck. I didn't know someone. He can have a cameo. He a can. cameo? Should I? Should yeah, we let in the beast? It. Yeah, you can open it. <gasps> Mr. Rocky! Come here! Rocky, come into the camera. Aww. But There's... you can't jump on this. No. <laughs> You're taking it one step too far. Aw, good job. Rocky saying <laughs> hello to the peoples. Hello to the peoples. Oh, that's my squishies. You cannot have them. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, okay. Rocky. Please exit the studio now. <laughs> that was 15 the, seconds of reinforcements. I just, I think everyone should know that currently the Cupid Shuffle is on in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky was out there dancing to it. <laughs> that's why he's whining. He goes, come on, guys. We're all doing the Cupid Rocky, Shuffle. Rocky, out of the stew. Out of the stew, man. Peace out, boy. Bye. Go, baby. Rocky, go. To the left, to the left. <laughs> if you had to eat a box of crayons, <laughs> what <laughs> color would you pick to eat? Probably the teal. I feel like that just looks so good. Uh, like, the, like the aqua blue color. I'm trying to think. Mm. Probably yellow. Yellow? What? I feel like that would give it me really bad good. poop. It looks good. Why would you? Okay, well, like teal isn't going to make your poop just super. It'll make it green. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to eat a, a white one to see what would happen. Probably nothing. Wait, that's boring. What about black? 
Oh, black, black would definitely make my poop just super black. <laughs> Should we try? I don't own any crayons. You're the artiste. I have a lot of markers. I have colored pencils. I have paint. I don't we have, have no pink, crayons. pink finger body wash, pink finger paint. Would we die if we ate that? Uh, probably. Oh, so we just do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Adios. Toxic for children. How many people can someone sleep with before you secretly judge them for their number? <laughs> number. Mm, probably over 10. I was going to say the same thing. Like, if it's up to, like, 15, I'm definitely probably going to be, like... Um... I my roommate <laughs> she was talking used to talk to this guy mm -hmm. where he would like make fun of her body count and everything. He, he had sixty bodies. And I was like, boy How do you even get up to Okay, no, I know how people get up to that. I'm not an idiot. But But like that's a lot. That's a lot. You gotta average quite it keeps turning off. A lot a month. I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> Dude, that's um, too Yeah, too many. you're gonna have to be like Yeah, that's just a lot. That's way too much work to do. How does yeah, anybody have that much like you, sexual stamina? Especially if it's someone that's new that you've never done it with before. Oh like, God, that's so you have to like to think be cute and like <laughs> shave. It's a man though. He doesn't have to do any of that crap. Crap. Yeah, but men are so mean. Men are mean. As we're sitting with two men in here. <laughs> Hey, get that! Uh, the producer is flipping off the camera. Oh. Uh, the lover is flipping off the camera. <laughs> the lover. The I'm lover. Just the lover. <laughs> That's the lover, just your name fighter. now. Just the lover. Just the lover. Um, but yeah, I would say I don't really care unless it's someone I'm with, but I'm married, so. Um, but if it's like Classic over ten, marriage moment. I probably like... am gonna question what you're doing. Like, it won't be judgmental. I'll just be like, be like, how, how. <laughs> yeah, I could Why? Not. I don't understand. Yeah, that just I sounds like a understand. lot. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, mean, the next yeah. question is, can I see your browser history? Oh, good lord. I'm scared. <laughs> but um, I feel like a lot of things... I'm not even scared you're going to see something, like, naughty. I think you're going to cringe gonna at when I I think you're going to think I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot, too. Okay, wait. How do I do it? Okay. Like, uh, I Google a lot of, like, bookmarks? No. actors if I'm watching something. Oh, like, here. what else have they been in? Okay, we're switching phones. Okay. Oh, a lot of it's going to be lame because of all the podcast things we I had okay. to do the other day. Distribution. Drinking laws in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I was curious. That was yesterday at 10.45 p.m. It was? Yes. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> when are you ever awake at 10.45 p.m.? Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. On the weekends, every weekend, um, during the week, I go to bed at 8.30. Okay, two chains, classic. I oh. saw something, because I saw something on Facebook where someone said 2 chains and Tebow for Mike Carly were the same person. What? Is that true? I don't know. I didn't get an answer. I oh. went on his Wikipedia page and it didn't say that. So I think they were lying to me. I don't know who 2 chains is. This but... is all podcast stuff, Madison. I know. Is it Little lame? white blood cells in vision. <laughs> You've Googled that 10 times. <laughs> ten when times. I stare at the sky, why do I see stars? <laughs> I was curious about my freaking issues, okay? But I'm fine, um, I think. Back to podcast Ooh, stuff. homemade egg rolls. Oh, yeah, because our coworker made the best egg rolls, and now I want to eat them. Oh, she made those? Yeah, she made those. She said she woke up that morning and made them and fried them. All of them? There was, like, mm -hmm. 50 of them. Goodness um, gracious. Tried to get out if, of saw traps. You literally Googled, <laughs> tried to get out of saw traps. I was curious. What are they? I couldn't find anything fun. What is a saw trap? From the movie. Oh, I've never seen that movie, Me so either. that doesn't make... Okay. I was just curious because... Okay, you have a lot of... Um, Joy spun women's short sleeve. Joy spun yes, women's short sleeve. because I Joy want spun another moo -moo. Short <laughs> Joy spun sleep shirt. Because Walmart, I want Walmart, another Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Walmart. Joy spun sleep shirt. And they, I want to see if they're putting out new designs. Uh, you logged into Twitter. Um, more podcasts up. Can I use t-shirt paper with laser jet printer? <laughs> That's when I was making the podcast shirts. I was no. just curious. Cheapest t-shirt printing. Two, more podcast. Melting pot. Yum. TMS therapy. Oh, LOL. Like 20 times. Qualifying landing page. TMS therapy. Bad mental health morning. Hutch from Chewy. Hutch from Chewy. But Vertigo the, symptoms. I like that you were Googling <laughs> Chewy, but you forgot the W, so it just says cheese. <laughs> 
cheddar cheese fondue. 62 inches and feet. Wait, what was I doing that for? Um, I don't... Oh, were it looks like anything? you were looking up rabbit stuff. Oh, I was, I was, yeah, I was. Yeah, really. Zuzu pets! I want them... So, okay, 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 break. Okay, okay. I need to talk about the, Zuzu the pets. Over. Now we have <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I need to talk about Zuzu pets. I need them back in my life so bad right now. I've been so obsessed with trying to find them. But on eBay or Amazon or anything, it's like 20 bucks. But well, I remember... Let's Google this. I remember when I was little, they were like six bucks for just one little guy. And I used to... I told you this before, but I don't think I've told you. When I was younger, I used to go to auctions with my grandpa all the time. I think you came at Target. But it's I like actually out though, or do you have to order them? Well, you probably have to order. But that's I can't just walk around and shop and browse the that this little hamster. This one's ninety nine. This one's ugly. Yeah, that's the new branded ones. Those ones Those are, are ugly. I like the old school ones. They used to get caught in your hair all the time. Did you ever have that happen? No. I would have to Madison. cut my hair out of them. Madison. Okay. No. Anyways, I used to go to auctions with my grandpa all the time, oh, and he would bid on a little box for me. But I would sneakily, yes, I would sneakily put all the Zuzu pets in there so that I could get as many Zuzu pets were, as I wanted. You were cheating the system. Yeah, I was, but it advantaged me. Heartburn. Yeah, from alcohol. Heartburn. Yep. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm confused on how we got here. Oh, oh browser yes. history. Browser history. Do you want to see anything more? Um, Mine's no, kind of boring. Yeah, yours was. I wish it was like, how to get rid of a body. Porn, 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 porn. porn, porn. <laughs> woman loving woman. Woman on woman. Woman loving <laughs> no, woman. No, for that you go to incognito tab. Oh, I'm always in private mode. Oh, I okay. Um, Next question. Can you cry underwater? Ooh. Um, can I tell a story while you think of something? Of course. So growing up, I was on the swim team. Um, and near the end, I hated going to it. And so while I was swimming laps at swim practice, I would cry into my goggles. That's <laughs> so I hated sad. being there so much. Why were you in there for so long if you hated it? Um, well, I remember my last year in it. I don't think I told my parents I didn't want to do it, so my mom just signed me up. Oh. And then it was just too late, and so yeah. she was like, well, you're just going to have to follow through and not disappoint everyone. Oh, my God. And I was like, okay. Okay. That's so sad. Um, so, yes, I think you can cry underwater, because I would do it sometimes without my goggles. Um, This is really <laughs> embarrassing, but I'm going to share it anyway. This is really embarrassing. Well, okay. I'm here for you. When I was younger... <laughs> This is really bad. I don't even know how to talk about it. I like that you're telling us like Whitney Houston. <laughs> yeah, like, Whitney Houston is the background. Okay, it's she's giving me an empowered woman <laughs> moment. But I remember when I'm, I was tiny and I first got to my like, ah uh, yes, I am a human who can have sexual being. Yes, yeah, and you like, have those and feelings, stuff. and you're like, hmm, interesting. And for some reason, every time I would get in the water, whether it was like a pool or wherever, I would just be so like horny. <laughs> But I didn't know what it was. So it was so yeah, confusing. It's like, confusing. And I was like probably nine to twelve years old, but I was like, like I oh. I'm not, I'm sexually awake. So I'm awake. <laughs> I remember when like high school let's Google what year high school musical came out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be embarrassed or embarrassed? No. I'm high gonna be upset school, if it's really far. High school musical came out? What yes. Old? Yeah, what we you? I do not remember when it came so out. High school musical came out in two thousand six. So oh my god, I, I was three years like, old. You were how old? Three. Oh, Jesus Christ. You remember I when it came out? I would have been like seven. <laughs> um, but I remember when High School Musical came out and Troy and Gabriella would smooch. <gasps> and I would have feelings about that because I thought that was <laughs> cool. And I was like, ew, what is this? <laughs> anyway. I'm trying to think of a... There was a movie where like two girls when I was younger, two girls would like get super two girls close. Up? Oh, good Lord. I remember the first time I saw that too. I've never seen it. You want to see it right now? Nope. <laughs> It's not that Did bad. you ever see the video? This, I think, was I was in high school. But there was this woman named... Well, she wasn't a woman. She was a girl. Her name was, like, Giovanna Pioli. And she sucked really on her own tampon that was <gasps> used. Ew! What? When was this? I was in high school. I can Google oh it. Oh, my God. Who is this person? Her name was, like, Giovanna something. And then I was followed she her on or? Instagram because I was just so fascinated. Ew. Tampon. What? Uh did you ever watch glitter forever 17 giovanna ploman tampon girl video <laughs> um who uh glitter forever 17 was her youtube handle if you look her up then you're gonna see see the spilled secrets i was gonna share about her 17. 
I don't remember what her actual actual name was, but images. She used to do the classic like I've never seen her. Oh good lord, it's crazy. Uh like um I'm trying to think. Like first day of high school. Um oh, what's in my backpack? School supplies videos. hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now she is a porn star and one of oh. yeah, one of um the first video I saw <laughs> of her on Twitter was she literally put a firecracker in her cooch and then lit it. And mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't want to see the rest. So I How- why i don't know i don't know i really don't don't know sometimes i wonder why people do the things they do (laughs) is she okay (laughs) you ever scroll on maybe you don't do do. you ever scroll on twitter and like you follow someone that does like only fans or something but you forget that you have followed them on twitter and they post previews to their only fans things no i can't really because the only thing i use twitter for is porn so everything, every single thing is like that. Here, I'll literally prove it to you. Well, I follow this. So, okay. <laughs> I'm not into her content content on OnlyFans, but I found her on TikTok and I liked her like daily vlogs. And so I followed Anna her. Paul? Huh? Anna Paul? No. Her oh, name she... is something else. I don't remember because I don't follow her anymore. Porn. But I. <laughs> oh my God. But um, I followed her on Twitter because I liked her content, but I didn't realize that on Twitter she also posted OnlyFans like preview clips so you're just scrolling and, and all of a sudden I would be like her boyfriend is like raw dogging her and i was like oh my god okay um but Gotta i don't get that bank Twitter that much yeah i don't really either i used to go on it a lot more but i don't really care like about that. it it's just like lindy now i know my little fidgety guy is all dirty it's very sticky as well would you like the next question he's so dirty uh <laughs> Um, if your parents said we couldn't be friends anymore, would you listen? Yes or no? No. Oh. Obviously, I would not listen. That's really nice. I would say... Would you not pretend be- to not be my friend, but still be my friend and just tell them, yeah, I'm not a friend no more? No, I would say, yeah, I'm going to Casey's. And they would say... Bleh, 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 bleh. No, they wouldn't, because they <laughs> love you. <laughs> they would say... They always say, oh, Wait. Casey. Yeah, he says, oh, she has a friend? That's amazing. Oh, wholesome <laughs> moment. I hang out with somebody else besides the person who uh, I have to hang out with? Oh, man. Man. Crazy. <laughs> um, if my parents said we couldn't be friends, I don't know why they'd be saying that because I'm 24, but... Um, yeah, why would they say that to me? I'm not, I don't even live there. I'm, like, okay, let's hypothetically... Like, I dropped if we were my squishy. School. Okay, high school? I need a different squishy now. Um, You can hold this guy, or you can use the carrot. Where's my... Okay, I'll take the carrot. Um... Like, if I was in high school, my parents said I couldn't be your friend or something, I'd probably be like, okay, yeah, and then still talk to you every day and yes. still hang out with you okay. and just lie where I'd be. If I, yeah, if I was in high school, then I would say that I wasn't friends with you anymore, but then I would literally go to your house Literally all day. go straight to your house. Mm, what a break. Um, this next one's a tame one. Who is your celebrity crush? Do you have one? Oh Do you my have God, more yes. than one? Uh-huh. Okay. Matthew Gray Goobler, of course. You, the goob. Mr. Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. I feel like that adds up looking at your current lover in front of me. And you want to know who the next person I was going to say? Who? Timothy Chalamet. He also looks like that. Yeah, he does. I, don't, I do not look like that. I, 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 I do not. Those are both strange little stick boys. <laughs> <laughs> stick boys? Strange little stick boys. I just like them strange little stick boys. You are my strange little stick boy. I'm your strange little log. You're, he's he's a log. <laughs> he's a log. Oh, he's a log. Mm, I love my log. Oh, I love a sturdy log man. And you, um, Post Malone. Posty, yes. Um, and Luke Combs, and I feel like that checks out if you look at what my husband looks like. Isn't that so funny? Literally, so facts. Like he's my husband's <laughs> a little thick. He's got the dad bod. He's got the beard. He's got the yet twos. <laughs> yet two. Producer, look up a picture of Luke Holmes. I don't know what he looks like. You don't know who he's a like. country singer. Yeah, he's a country I singer. He's a country singer. I don't know what he looks like. He looks like like a country singer. He- <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Cuter. Oh, I, I do not remember his face looking like that. Who's the chick? Who's he married to? Uh, No one famous. Oh. She's pretty. She's very pretty. There was this oh, really... Big... He looks so different without his hat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Have you heard of hat fishing? Yes, and I believe it's, it's, it's a real thing. Absolutely. Um, well, now you have to talk about hat fishing. Okay, cat you know, like fishing? like cat fishing, like when girls wear or people wear makeup and then they take off their makeup. And everyone's like, "Oh my god, you're cat fishing so hard!" It's when Same men. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be men. It could be women too. But when like men wear a hat all the time and they look really really attractive with a hat, but then they take it off and, and it's bad. They're really bad. And looking. it's bad. I I have had multiple occasions where I've noticed that. That's like, have you heard of the um? 
the Asian sunglasses thing. No. Asian People sunglasses. who are like very um like have very very light skin but are uh-huh. Asian. If they wear sunglasses, they look white, and then they take this. Uh, really? You can tell that they're like Asian. Oh, huh. I didn't Should know I that. Think if I have any other celebrity crushes that are. You're supposed to say Hardy because I look like Hardy. Oh, Hardy! But I don't Who's really that? listen to him. Google it. We went to a bar once, right? Yeah. Um, I think it was New Year's Eve actually, and this really drunk man <laughs> came up to us uh, when we were waiting for our friends and said. You look just like Hardy. Let me play a song. Oh. And just kept saying over and over again that he looked like Hardy. I mean, he I see it for sure, but I think the man was just very, very drunk. I don't know. I feel like it's just the backwards I hat and like the, the... It's just the glasses, the facial hair, and the hat. Yeah. I don't even know who it... He's, he's, what um, kind of music does he... He does like country rock he, he music. He a lot of country songs for like... Yeah. Like, Oh, okay, that makes sense. Morgan Wallen, oh yeah, I like him. Um, I think, in theory, I have a big silver crush on Morgan Wallen, but things I've heard about him, I can't stand. I don't know what the things about him. It's been a while, I feel like it was more in 2020, but, like, he was, like, he had a girlfriend, that he got pregnant, but then he was seen out, like, partying all the time. Ew. And everyone was like, you have, like, a fiancé at you have home a pregnant, that's pregnant fiance. like, what are you doing? And I feel like I heard, like, rape allegations. Oh, I don't know if it's God. right, because... It was back in 2020, so. Yeah. But, but I like his COVID music. Dimes. Um, if you found out I was about to die, what would you want us to do together before I died? Oh my goodness. Like, what's something you'd want us to experience? I would force you to go on a road trip longer than two hours, even mm-hmm. though I know you hate road trips. I hate, I like road trips. I just don't like being in the car. But I would make it fun. I can handle caught well no that's a lie i can't but i just don't like when you start the road trip and you have to like go through all of like the cities here yeah like the and boring, all the traffic because like once Ugh. you get like out of that it's better but i just am not a good car person when someone else is driving that makes sense i love road trips but i would make it so fun we would go on a road trip and we would stop at every gas station and fill up the big buddy obviously oh, with, big buddy. with diet coke and some vanilla although oh. i would add a little raspberry to mine because that sounds really good raspberry. and then we would drive into the mountains and we would be little mountain people and we would sleep in the back of the car because it's always so amazing oh, when so when you lift up the trunk and you wake up in the morning like uh, and there's mountains and right there mount- i've never done that we the first time it wasn't like huge huge mountains but when we went to south dakota last year in our first stop at the badlands the free site there when we woke up and we had the mountains oh my god it was beautiful we didn't stay very long um i I told you about that that's the one where when we um we're not planning on driving all the way to south dakota from here but then you just we drove and then we got there at like four in the morning and i felt Mm -hmm. so bad when we were slamming doors and stuff and people were probably so annoyed but it was gorgeous so it didn't really matter that's really fun but that's when you told me about the um uh what's the movie the scary movie the documentary not documentary oh, like Blair Witch Project. yes when you told me about the Blair Witch Project movie and it was like literally three in the morning and I was petrified mm-hmm. I would not get out of the car I like when we got to our campsite mm-hmm. I like shimmied around through the back to get all yeah. our stuff because I would not step out of there I was terrified I was gonna die see so okay concept of Blair Witch Project terrifying <laughs> it, but the actual movie itself Either one of them are not that scary. I have I have only seen the new one. We watched the I haven't seen the original. I've seen both. They're pretty much the same. From what I remember, it's been a few years, but they're not scary because you don't really see much. And there's yeah, so I've much like, rustling of the camera. No, I, I hate. I really don't like movies where like you can physically see the person with the camera like moving so yeah. much. It's you can't focus. It gives me a headache, <laughs> and then I just can't. Uh. I can't. But the concept of those movies sounds really, really scary. Like, if I was that person living it... Yeah. Horrible. Because I've heard that there's, like, a witch in there or whatever, but you don't even ever get to, like, see her. Yeah, you don't really see her and the, until the very end. In the one we watched, you got to see the witch. In the second one? You, yeah, in the... Well, not the... So they made a sequel, but yeah. no one... It's... No one cares about the sequel. No one, no one like, talks about it. But there's the old one, mm-hmm. and there's the new one. Yeah. And the new one is actually, like... um like you see the witch a lot more mm-hmm. and it's a lot i think it's paced a lot better i've never again i've never seen the first one but yeah from what i've heard it's paced a lot better obviously the special effects are a lot better yeah oh yeah that makes sense yeah like i said so i've seen both of them and i feel like i saw them consecutively like in the similar time frame when i was like a senior in high school so it's been a really long time um but i i don't like scary movies and i don't i wasn't scared watching them is it supposed to feel like 
like a real story or is it supposed to feel yeah. like fiction or is it supposed to like i think what they're going for i could be wrong is that it's supposed to be like an actual documentary that these people were making okay. and then they were murdered or disappeared and like someone found their camera later on gotcha i think is what they're going for yeah that's like the whole like found footage yeah concept. Thing. Isn't yeah. there another famous like movie or set of movies or whatever that's like found footagey? That's good. Oh, Rocky. Rocky, we'll be out in a little bit, bud. <laughs> I'm trying to think because I feel like my my mom loves those kinds of things. I just it's hard for me to get into it because yeah. I'm always just so freaked out that it's gonna like happen to me or I'm like I just can't focus on the freaking camera. That is what gets me too is the camera going like. Yeah, it's just too fast. My brain cannot pick it up that much. Um. Not to change what we're talking about, but I can answer the question now. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, if I was about, if I found out you were just about to die, I would want to have like the most fun day ever. Like I want to go like an aquarium or a zoo and oh, like that'd be so fun. do like all the fun things and like have like go to dinner and like ball out and just like order everything on the menu and just like that's so cute. Just have, like, be like one last big hurrah. Um, and go to a bar and just get fucked up get and like up. just like do so many fun things just to be like. You have one last really great That's day. That's so cute. Have you been to the Duluth Aquarium? No. It's actually really cute. I've been a few times. Um, the last time we went, we literally went like 30 minutes before it was closing. So we kind of didn't get to experience it. I'm we it. haven't gone. We love aquariums. But it's really, it's actually like how it's all set up is really cute. There's a lot of interactive stuff there too. I actually don't think I've been to a, a different aquarium ever. <laughs> Maybe when I was little, but I don't even remember it. So I feel like it doesn't count. Have you ever been to the one the Mall of America? uh i think when i was super young but i like sea life type things kind of freaks me out because i feel like like i don't know having it be in like in that bubble i don't know yeah when you're walking through the tunnel it is kind of scary but it's like that's like a you go once and you've kind of seen it yeah um but i really want to go to the duluth i think it's called like superior zoo sometime this summer oh yes yes, they have a red panda there oh my goodness we also need to go to the maplewood mall once so that we can see yeah. the capybaras capybara, 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 capybara. um so that was all the questions if we wanted to take a little potty break yeah we can do a little piss break oh he, he, he. piss break we'll be back soon bye we're back from my freaking potty break we freaking pissed our pants yeah i literally piss on the floor do you see that wet spot right there that's, right there that's my piss that's on the floor. actually her piss Anyways, um, but <laughs> thanks for listening, watching this, this week's episode, the most special and fun Happy Birthday, birthday. podcast. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. This is our peak. It goes downhill from yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're starting up high, and then it's just go. It's gonna go wow. wow. So yeah, tune back next week for the wow. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.